These three knives are from the Shuang Rong Knife Company. Uh, they're all budget end of budget knives. They're not too bad actually, but I've got one in here that might surprise you and you might just like too, guys. Well, hello everyone, welcome back again. Um, when I started my uh, YouTube channel, it was uh, primarily aimed at reviewing budget knives, although I have started to get some slightly more expensive knives in and reviewing them. Um, so, the other day I was on uh, Gearbest once again, and I was looking through the uh, Shuang Rong section, uh, SR knives if you wish, because um, some of their stuff is quite good actually, and I was going to buy this particular knife here. But whilst I was scrolling through, I came across this one, and that changed my mind completely. And I thought to myself, yes, I'm definitely going to get this one in, because I like this one. I'd seen similar styles to it on another Chinese site, a lot more expensive than this one was. And this one was much more stylish too, I thought. So, uh, what's well, about £10 later, £10 sterling later, uh, a couple of weeks in the delivery and here it is so let's get it out of the packaging and we'll have a look shall we guys <clears throat> get rid of the box over there as we always do uh, and we have this nice little pouch here look another one of these uh, pouches I've got two now uh, it's a non molly compatible just a belt loop that's all it's uh, and it's velcro fastening and here we go guys the big moment Put that just there for a minute too. Right in. It's in this little bag here. Have a look at this beauty, guys. Just check that out. Look at the finish on that. Let's get the blade out for you. Wow! You can see why I purchased it now, can't you, guys? Oh, it's wonderful. It really is. Let's take a closer look at it. And let's start with this massive chunk of a blade. I mean, just look at the style and design of this thing, guys. Got a thumping great big uh, groove here to help get the blade out. It's a hollow grind, as you can see here. Loving the design of this thing. You've got some massive jimping just here. There's the uh, company logo, Shuang Rong Knives. And we'll move along a bit further to the uh, grips this handle. Uh, check out this great big thick lump of G10. We have a uh, stainless liner on this side. It's not been skeletonized at all. As you can see, it's just a solid lump there. Um, is the uh, locking bar. All beautifully polished as well. It's all held together with Torx screws. You've got a great big pocket clip here, and that is um, quite strong. Loving the little design going on just here. The little knife. See that, guys? A little knife in the pocket clip. Brilliant. Love it. And at the end, we have this, like, um, I don't know, skull crusher, glass breaker, chunk of um, stainless steel on the end there. Look at it, and just look at the, the finish on this thing. Uh, there's only one blemish that I can find, and that is underneath here, look. Where they've not finished it off properly. See that? This part of the blade has definitely missed the machining operation here. You can see where it started just here, and then got missed, which is a shame, really. But um, there we go. That's it, only cost me £10, really. But uh, yeah, it's a bit of a shame. Here's the surface of the G10. Let's try and have a look at the edge of it. Hopefully we can see the layers in there if we get it right. Yeah, there we go. If we take a look on the inside of the uh, knife itself, you can see the little ball bearing there that holds the uh, blade closed. You can see where it's uh, inserted into this end. There it is. For the money, you are getting yourself quite a large knife here, guys. Um, the overall length, I measured it at 228.5 millimeters. Um, the blade length is 
3.6 millimeters from here to the tip. Blade material apparently is for CR13MOV. The stock thickness on this fellow is 3.7 millimeters thick. It's a massive great chunk of stainless steel here. Um, the little skull crusher, as it were, that is uh, 4.7 millimeters thick in there. What else we got? Um, the lock frame thickness on this side is 2.3 millimeters thick. This liner here is 1.2 millimeters thick. Um, the G10 is 3.6 millimeters thick and it's been chamfered all the way around the edges so it's nice and comfortable to hold. So how much does this massive great big thing weigh then? Well let's start in ounces. Nine ounces and most of the weight is, is, is the blade, this great chunk of stainless steel at the front. Um, or 254 grams. This thing is a monster. Okay then guys, let's take a look at um, blade centering and lock up on this, shall we? Because it's, uh, I think it's quite good actually. It's quite positive on the uh, lock. And the locking bar is uh, quite strong to um, move over. It's not um, weak in the least at all. What's the uh, lock up like on here? Yes, well that's quite reasonable. What about um, blade centering then? What's that like? Look at that guys, for a cheap knife that's pretty damn good. And the blade is sucked in quite nicely by uh, the, uh, there you go, little ball bearing detent, sucks in very nicely. There are no bearings in the pivot, just these two um, look like nylon washers to me guys. I mean just look at it, massive great sturdy well made i think personally for what i paid for it so it only cost me 10 pounds what i'll do is i'll put you an affiliate link in the descriptive text below and you can take a look at how much it's going to cost you and availability in your country as well guys but so far i mean i've been messing about with this for a few days now it is just monstrous i mean it's it's quite comfortable to hold i mean i think there are a few sharp edges on it like these uh these jimping corners here are a little bit sharp and there's probably a little um, edge to the top of the blade here and there's definitely an edge here, you can feel that and that is actually flat, that grind there is flat it's very comfortable to hold because it's so bloody big I mean look, in my big hands guys look at that you can see that I can get all my fingers on, all my fat fingers on there thumb resting on the top of the blade here what about reverse grip, I bet that's good Yeah. Fantastic. It's better that way though. But it's, it's awesome. An awesome great big knife guys. It really is. Very comfortable. And uh, as I say, you know, you might think to yourself, well, you know, cheap Chinese company like Shuang Rong is going to be a load of rubbish, isn't it? Well, not for me. I said the only downside is this little bit here going on, but not too worried about that too much. It's, I mean, look at the finish on this guys. It's the polish. The fit and finish is really quite good, actually, to be honest with you. The, the shine here. I think they might have made a little bit of a mistake when they were doing the blade. I don't know if you can see that, but just the top of the blade here, there's a little dink in the top of the blade here where they're polishing it. You can almost feel it just about there somewhere. But um, yeah, the uh, overall quality of this thing is quite good for the money. I say I only paid £10 sterling for it. So if it's nice to handle, what's it like chopping stuff up? Well, let's see what uh, Bob the Bitsa Bag has got to say, shall we? Here he is, here's Bob. I'm going to start with some paper. So we can just see how sharp this is. We'll see if we can knock a corner off. That's not too bad, I don't suppose, for a minute, guys. So can we do a push cut with it? Just about. You can just about do a push cut with it. And look at the tip. Now that is definitely a push cut with the tip, look. A little curly bit, look at that, nice, I like that. <clears throat> what about the old uh, cardboard? No problem at all. If I can get out the cardboard. Look at that. Should be able to um, 
Oh, there's another cut. A lovely cut in the. <laughs> oh dear, there's another cut in my uh, review bench. There's one there, and now there's one here. Look, I'll have to get the <coughs> some uh, paper on that and smooth it down. I think. Anyway, how about we get straight into the uh, heavy duty uh, package strapping? Oh, yep. So we can chop a lump off of it. It's a nice big blade. Look at the size of the thing. Right, here we go. Cool. Done it. So we're diving for some cheapy rope time. Got quite a few strands here. Um, have I given myself enough of a loop to get the blade in there? Because it's a great big thick blade. Right, here we go. Give it a go. Push. Ah. Yep. Did that lot look? Speaker style cable. Will that present a problem for the knife? I don't think so. Let's give it a go. Get it in there, hopefully. Yeah, I thought so. Let's try the heavier gauge stuff, 32020. <clears throat> it's cop 32 um, cores of copper in here. Same again, no bother at all. Mule the tapeworm as in sent in by my friend Trader Joe. Thank you very much, Trader Joe. What's it gonna be like with this stuff? Because as I say, if you've got a blunt blade, it will slip off of it. Let's have a look. No, it didn't slip off of that, did it, guys? <laughs> right, and so, to the chopping block. <clears throat> and let's start with some cheapo rope. Uh, as I say, this is a completely flat blade here, as you can see, look. It's big enough to get on here. Look at that, just a gentle push. Not much required at all. Let's try it, because it's a slightly curved part of the blade here, so we'll just roll it through, look at that. Try the same with the uh, heavy gauge 3202. There we go, I need a bit more pressure. Seems to be doing it right there, doesn't it? Blimey, yeah, definitely that way, look. There's a speaker style cable then. Oh yeah, look at that. Piece of cake. <laughs> what about um, mule the tapeworm? A little bit of mule the tapeworm. Let's try rolling that and a tip through it. Has it done it? <clears throat> Almost. Just a few strands left. There we go. But the trouble is, is this is well chopped up, this old board, look. <clears throat> try that again on a smooth bit of board. Yeah, see the difference? What about the... Uh... Not bad at all, really. So what about the pipe? What can we do with the pipe then, guys? Get the flat part of the blade, the main part of the blade on there. Oh yeah, sending it quite nicely. And you should be able to chop it too. Yep. It's going everywhere, you can hear that. And once again, this is the factory edge. I haven't touched this at all. Now, quite obviously, this is um, a copy of the Medford Praetorian knife. And I have seen uh, clones of that particular knife on other Chinese stores before. Uh, I do like the design of the knife and I've often thought about getting one in. But most of the ones I've seen have been uh, predominantly black with black handle and black blade etc. Um, you can get this particular one in all black as well from Gearbest, like the picture here. Um, you can get them in black, but uh, I, yeah, I'm not so sure about that. But it's, you know, I I like the design, but I wasn't all that keen on getting it in all black. But when I saw this one on Gearbest, I think it was just before Christmas last year. Well, look at it, guys. I mean, it just stands out, doesn't it? It's really nice, all this highly polished stainless going on here. It's just lovely, I think. Very nice bit of kit. I'd say for the price you pay for it, it's not badly finished either, really. It's quite nice. It's really solid. And this is extremely comfortable to hold as well. Where's the point of balance on this thing? Let's have a look so we can find it. There we go. There's the point of balance. i say most of the weight of this particular knife is in the blade here. It's a great thick chunk of stainless steel. 
Um, as I say, I think it's a 4CR13 MOV, apparently, according to Gearbest. Um, it's 3.7 millimeters thick. That's nearly four millimeters thick. It's awesome. Very nice uh, blade. I do like it. Okay, so what sort of damage do you think we could do with this uh, crusher or glass breaker at the end here? Well, I've got a um, chunk of wood here. We've used it before with a tactical pen. There's nothing going on just here at the moment. So let's give it a whack and see what we can do. Blimey, straight in there. Look at that, guys. So you can do a fair amount of damage with the uh, glass breaker crusher thing, can't you? The pouch it comes in is uh, woven and padded nylon. It seems to have a nice soft, possibly uh, neoprene insides to protect the knife, which slides in quite nicely. And it's just done up with a bit of Velcro. So there we go then, guys. What do you think of the uh, Shuang Rong SR590? I like it a lot. It's a very nice uh, knife indeed. I know it's a copy of a uh, Medford Praetorian, but it's a very, very good one. Um, if you can't afford the uh, genuine article, this one may very, very well have a place in your collection. As I say, they do uh, carry it in black as well. Here's the picture again. Uh, superb bit of kit. I, I do like this uh, digital camo on the G10 there, that's very nice. And it's, as I say, it is um, chamfered all around the edges, making it very comfortable to hold. There's no sharp edges at all on it. Very nice. Okay, guys, um, I think I'll have to wrap up the review now because I, can, I think I can feel a bit of a migraine coming on again, um, but we won't worry about it too much. Yes, so it's quite a nice blade is this one. I like it a lot. <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed the review guys. If you did, uh, don't forget you can uh, subscribe to the channel, you can uh, share it with your friends and you can also click a like and that will help my channel quite a bit as well if you click like. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram down here. Uh, you'll have already, If you already subscribed to me on Instagram you'll have seen pictures of this beauty already up there. Uh, and don't forget, as I say, I got this from Gearbest, and there's a special Gearbest link in the descriptive text down below. Click on that link, go along, buy what you like, and I get a small commission. All right, guys, there's a card coming up at the end of the review showing you other ways to support my channel. If you'd like to take a look at that, thank you very much. Please let me know what you think of the knife, guys, in the comments down uh, in the well, yeah in the comments down below. Uh, if you like it, hope you do. I know I do. I'm going to have to go and tidy this up, I think, where I chopped the uh, chopped me review bench. It was nice and sharp and spiky, is that? so I'm going to have to go and deal with that. Well, that's better. All right, then, guys, uh, thanks for coming by, and I'll catch you again here very shortly, then. Laters!